feeling minus 25 this morning. Just walking up to the shed, checking my fans. And the one fan's off, primary fan's on, and it's not on idle. It's ramped up a little bit. It's got me wondering, I mean, it's minus 25 out right now. It's a pretty cold air to exchange. So I'm just gonna take a wander inside. I haven't been inside for probably, when was the last time? It was Christmas or so, before we went skiing anyways. Just gonna take a peek. Looking at four degrees. So I'm just going to push my way a path here. These aren't going to like this white light whatsoever. Looking up to my vent, quite frosted. E drop. Sweep. It's quite a bit here. So probably a full wheelbarrow by looks whoa this look at the floor. It's completely covered with bees. Shed seems pretty calm, other than my white light here. Certainly don't like this white light. Some of them are bearding. It's nice to see my girls again. Good morning. I find it chance today I think I'm going to sweep this shed. There's a lot being pushed on the floor. I'll sweep the shed just to keep the place fresh. That's basically the only reason. Here's my pail of water on the floor. Right underneath the vent. It's frozen. So this corner is below freezing because of that. It's blowing minus 25 air straight into the shed. So this side of the shed is a little cooler. So that's a flaw in this shed. I just have the air pulled in through these vents. And then as I go across the shed to the, where the, the, the fans pull the air out of the shed, the ceiling fans mix it through the shed. It's just this side of the room it's a little bit colder, as says that pail of ice, which in fact used to be half full, so that's all evaporated. So it must be getting dry in here too. So I should have a plan, I'm going all the way across the room to distribute the cold air across, but I say this every year and I never do it, so it's not a high priority. There seems to be a lot of bee drop, but I don't know, it's probably typical. I mean, there's 1,500 hives in here and they're all good size. So I gotta expect drop. say the shed is pretty quiet. So I've taken a little bit of a break from uploading onto my YouTube page here. Uh, just, you know, a little bit of time away uh, feels really good. But I haven't taken a break from um, accepting 
more speaking engagements. I have one coming up in Winnipeg at the Red River Aprist Association. Uh, looking forward to that event. That's on Tuesday, and I'll be speaking in front of 50 or 70 people there. Uh, I'm gonna and uh, I'm looking forward to it, but these speaking events they're not getting any easier. Uh, it absolutely terrifies me every time that I think about uh, getting up in front of the audience and speaking. And I can't get around that. I've been doing a lot of work to help with that uh, with that problem. But uh, and it is helping. Like I'm able to uh, control my anxiety a little bit. I can actually get in front of a crowd and convey what I want to say. Uh, it's just I can't. It's just I don't know how to explain. You know, if you're scared of snakes and you anticipate that you open that door, you're going to walk through a room of snakes. You can never not be absolutely, absolutely terrified of that. And it's kind of the same thing with this. Like I'm anticipating, I have the Red River Apris Association on Tuesday I'll be speaking at. I've been asked to speak at the Border Agri Agricultural Stewardship Association, a local uh, conservation group here. I'm going to be doing that and then I'm heading to Pittsburgh uh, middle of next month and then I'm going to involve myself in some you know speaking uh, at our Manitoba Beekeepers Association I'm not a speaker but I'll, I'll be moderating and I'm you know and then uh, March I think I lined myself up to go down to uh, Minneapolis to speak to a uh, beekeeping club down there so I'm, I'm lining up all these speaking engagements all the time just because you know, I I really do like doing this. <clears throat> it's just, good lord, it's it it is one of the hardest things that I have to do. Um, I'm pre I'm prepared, <clears throat> I'm prepared as much as I can. I put myself on script a little bit more than I used to, just um, to help keep things on track and to help uh, provide solid content, so I don't, you know. These guys are spending a lot of money to take me out to these places and I can't just stand in front and babble. So I have to approach things a little more professionally. So I, I put myself a little more in script. Doesn't mean that I don't go off script. It's almost a year now I've been part of Toastmasters and that has helped a tremendous amount. I hate every one of the meetings. The program they put you through to help you identify some of the uh, public speaking um, strategies and that and just getting in front of people and speaking on your feet uh, it's been a big help but anyways I'd rather be home uh, working on the farm and I'd rather be I love going to these meetings but I'd rather be in the back far corner taking it in instead of being the guy up in front but uh, I get a little bit of a thrill from it too um, standing in front conveying my message having the entire room listening to what I have to say uh, the feedback I especially love the feedback the questions uh, and sometimes with the right audience um, and the right people asking questions you can start a conversation from the front with the audience and it just that's gold that stuff is brilliant that's kind of stuff that's why we go to meetings uh, we go to the meetings to talk to beekeepers in the hallways we don't go to the meetings necessarily to listen to the speaker up in front they're just the guys that are attracting the attracting the people giving us a reason an excuse to all come together to an event to talk about beekeeping and talk about our war stories and all this kind of stuff but when you can interact with the speaker in front with what their topic is um, and start you know a little bit of conversation within that presentation that is absolutely brilliant I just love that and that's happened a few times now that I've been speaking um, just that conversation that and that's the whole intent of uh, any of these speaking engagements is just to drum up conversation just to bring perspective to 
um, the crowd to the industry and just to keep talking, just to keep thinking. Critical thought is extremely important, especially our industry because we're struggling a little bit. <clears throat> we need to explore, you know, we need to think outside of the box. We need to keep an open mind and just keep foraging ahead. I'm also finding at these events I'm, I'm connecting with lots of people and it's really interesting. Um, and just the energy within beekeepers and the crowd and to try to convey this energy that we have uh, and put that towards the industry. And that, that's exciting on its own. <clears throat> I just like seeing people who are interested in something, um, just moving some of that effort, some of that energy towards promoting or, you know, benefiting that industry itself. And that's, that's what makes our industries strong is that effort, individual effort, that grassroots, that, that bottom-up movement forwards. That's what I believe in. <clears throat> and it doesn't have to be, like I'm involving myself now with the Manitoba Beekeepers Association. I'm the vice president. I'm also the research chair and the convention chair and finance chair. But anyways, um, you, you don't, you have this energy and this motivation to help your industry. You don't necessarily have to step up into a major role on a director of the association. Just coming out to the meetings is one thing. Um, just being there, supporting the activities that are put on by the ones who have more of that ambition to be able to organize these events. Because after all, it's you know that effort from the guys putting together all this to benefit the beekeepers within the industry. If nobody shows up, it doesn't do anybody any good. So just simply showing up, that's one basics of the energy. Or volunteering your time here or there, or just offering support uh, during a meeting to help organize something. I don't know what it is, but I just find that there's beekeepers out there that have the, all this energy built up and they want to use it, and, but they're, they're afraid to contribute because they're afraid of being uh, dumped on or leaned on too much or you know they don't want to be that involved. Just make sure that you control uh, all the effort you put in. As soon as you don't want to do anything anymore, just step back, but j even a little bit of effort move forward. That's, uh, that's all that this industry needs. Indeed. At any rate, just a few thoughts. <clears throat>